Hey guys, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I'm Avery. I'm Sierra. And last time we went back to Hidden Embers in Vegas and helped Moreland with his hot air balloon. Um, this time, uh, we're going back to Vegas, going to try to find out what these ornaments way? are for, and also whatever that side quest is, if the ornaments don't take that long. But we're in the bulwark to change it up a little bit. We're going to change our dye and our face paint as usual. You all know the drill by now. Or at least you should, because you've been watching the episodes, right? Well, this one will actually go with your face yeah. paint, I'm thinking, at least. Red, black, and the yellow. Oh, wait. What? Wait. Uh, wait, what? Wait. Uh-huh. Uh. What? Hmm. Oh. Where, where's the red? <laughs> I don't know. I like it, though. I really like it. It's super cool, but I guess they didn't have enough room to put the red on it. This is definitely the best version of this outfit. One of the blue ones. Oh, I'd say probably this one then. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I'm sad. What do you think? Why do I like it so much? I don't know. <laughs> it looks really good. Okay. Well, let's try to figure out what these... <laughs> Still in the search zone. Maybe we need to talk to them. You the think he is the oh, solution? Hey, bud. Guessing that's a fake wound. Yes. <laughs> this game has a bit of a problem with that, but the first one did too. You did have double sonas at one point. Yeah, I don't see anything. I'm really confused about this. Yeah, okay, I guess we'll talk to Stemmer. And if he doesn't do anything, I guess we'll come back at some point. I really want to get rid of this fucking ornament. Don't see anything. There's nothing here. So we are moving on. Because it is too. Uh, vague. <laughs> yeah, too vague. So I've lost interest. Hi. Stemmer, did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city. Where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free flowing ale. Okay. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below. And in one of them, Orbs? the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way. Locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. Paris. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. This could very well be it. Oh, come on. You did it. <laughs> yep. Oh, cool. This okay. is it. Okay, so I'm guessing... So the ornament lore is that they, there's some dude, Kyle, and a group of people like took his ornaments or whatever and hid them across the west. Yeah. Um, I wonder if they hid the final prize or whatever. Um, he had to get all of these ornaments and then put them in this place to get whatever they locked away. Yay, I'm excited. So it was Stem. Yeah. Fuck you, Stemmer. Why? He's helping you. You're helping him, but he's also helping you. <laughs> Find the origin. Oh, I can't forget. I have to return the black boxes to the bitch of the grove. Yeah, you haven't been in the grove okay. in a while. Okay. I was just up the, the giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. The ruins should be nearby. Up the grove for the arena. Yeah. I should have done it then. I forgot. The snap mods usually here. A ruin beside a metal tower. The gizmo Stemmer's after should be inside. What is this gizmo? It's Warlagig. It's 
contraption. Calm down, man. No. Oh. <laughs> this doohickey. This trinket. I think I'm in the right place. Now, where's that gizmo? Money, thank you. I'm running kind of low on money. Not really, but not as much as I would like to <laughs> take on the arena. Why did you stop doing the arena? I was running low on money and I was tired of doing it. Oh, that's the only reason. I didn't know if there was something else. There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin. See if I can find anything that might help. Okay. Search the ruin for the door code. Oh. Okay. Which button the side eject is? <laughs> circle. I was gonna say B, but I decided to. Good. PlayStation uh, supremists, supremacists, gonna come out of the woodwork and be like, "You can't say B, it's circle." <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, be right. <laughs> huh. So the gizmo is actually called an ornament. I found one of these in another ruin. It sounds like there are more out there, and it looks like there's part of a code. Might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. Malfunction, data point 1222. It's a text mail from Mel Baird. Uh, partial corruption. Uh, to Shay Navarro. Shay, uh, remember when that guy came in saying he was Kyle's business partner and he was here to collect the ornaments to set up for the big show? Well, the ping back from those things currently puts them all over the Southwest. Kyle's convinced it's a malfunction for now. But the closer we get to the show, the more he's gonna freak out. I won't tell I don't tell if you won't. Anyway, he changed the code for his office, so the cleaning bots will need to be updated. Otherwise they'll pile at the door trying to get in. Here's the code. Uh, one three five blank. Yeah, same six digit code as the RSVPs he sent out. Guy's not too creative, what can I say? Okay, so Kyle is like the like owns this place or something. Yeah. He runs this place and uh, there's, he had these ornaments, but some people came and claimed they were his business partner and took them and Yeah, I think there's some, over. like, college kids, right? Yeah, but I don't know how they're related to Kyle. Yeah. Maybe they, like, worked for him or something. He's, like, their boss. The hatch might lead to another part of the ruin. But, how to get to it? There's an opening at the top of the fence. Could be a way in, if I can find a way to get up there. Where are you talking about? Well, I know we have this here. I can't pull this out. It looks like the crate on top's blocked. Okay, we can't do that. Do this, then? There's a way to pull the top crate off. Ah, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Aloy. There we go. Thank you for your hand. <laughs> This is just okay, okay. This is just to restack. Yeah, I guess up to there. Yeah, I guess so. There. 
Should be able to reach the opening now. Okay, there you go. Made it. Where this leads. All right. That way. Just this one. Put the money back there. Now. Okay. There we go. And that. Oh, I'm back outside. What else is up here? Okay. There's this wall here. Thank you. Come on. Oh, there's a ruin in there. Blank 135. I thought it started with 135. Uh, it's corrupted one three five. Looks like the ornaments were part of something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion. A way to celebrate old world holidays by changing the holograms above ground. But how? Well, the other part of the code's here too. I should have what I need to open the door. So Knights of Lights, were they putting on like a like a light show? Yeah. So. RSVP requested. Okay, this is 13 out of 22 with partial data corruption text log. Uh, Standout Hollow cordially invites you to the Knights of Lights holiday promotion VIP viewing lounge. Okay, so he runs Standout Hollow. So. Yeah. And they're putting on this Knights of Lights uh, show. Uh, Marvel from the best seat in the city at, as the Vegas skyline is transformed into a dazzling hollow holiday celebration. Featuring a sample of holiday offerings available at launch, Knights of Lights will also offer a range of customization options to make every display the talk of the town. Secure your place in Vegas history as the City of Lights lives up to its name. Representatives will be on hand to answer any questions and know any specific requests. Demonstration begins at 8 p.m. followed by dinner and entertainment. Your RSVP is embedded in this invitation. When prompted, enter this six-digit code. So seven three nine one three five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Seven three nine one three five. Okay. Now what do the ornaments have to do with this though? What do you mean? The Knights of Lights thing. Because they're so small. Well, it seems like they're trying to sell them to people. Oh. Like little, maybe little portable holidays? Yeah, I think that they're trying to sell people like them for decorating their house or something. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what it's That makes sense. What was it? Seven three nine one three five. Good job. Three. Five. No. What? Seven three nine. Uh, five. Three. Nine. One. Three. There you go. You didn't remember it. <laughs> so I have you. Okay. Yeah. Candy canes. Yeah, because they've all been different. There's been like St. Patrick's yeah, Day with the holiday like, shit. Parts and shit. So. Got it. Time to head back up to Stemmer. Gizmo. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. I'll figure out how to make this thing work. What, did they steal his presentation? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, the letter that gets Moda Stimmer. Yeah, my theory is that maybe that it worked for him. That shake! <laughs> yeah. mm, shake sounds good. Let's get lazy. Get lazy. Yeah. What is this, Wally? Will you buy me a milkshake? Uh, maybe we have a job. What about all your YouTube revenue? I don't get any YouTube <laughs> revenue. Because these bitches aren't subscribing. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, old aggressive there. Yeah, I'm angry. Ah. <laughs> no, y'all are fine. Now you can title this video. I got so angry playing Horizon. <laughs> My subscribers make me so angry. 
you know, it's like, okay. And then some people have been commenting, mostly yeah. in Russian. So thank you, Russians. Shout out to the Russians. And we might cancel if we say that. Um, um, shout out to the good Russians. Mm -hmm. we might shout out to the Russians in your comments. Yeah. Russian supporters there. Only those ones. <laughs> Only those ones. And any other ones yeah. that they are associated with. Yeah. Shout out to the non-Russians in his comments too. Yeah. Thank you. Shout out to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. Except people that don't deserve a shout out. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Shout out. Okay. There you go. All bases covered. Yeah. I think we're, we're good. good. We're gonna look at Twitter tomorrow. Trending. It's well, that's probably good for you. How about a game publish game? Publish good publicity, right? <laughs> um, hmm. No. No, but I'm sure you would get some subscribers from that. <laughs> I guess it depends on uh, how small your channel is. Yeah. Okay, Stemmer, we're moving on now. The Nora returned. <laughs> but did she bring tidings of triumph? Or triumph. Misfortune? Of course. I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, a keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. I think there are more scattered in ruins beyond the desert. I might be able to track them down. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion? It's a... The way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event. And so does every feast in the claim. <laughs> There's the feast of the first keg, the feast of fermentation, the all hops feast. <laughs> all about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Well, neither. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. Hey, <laughs> we're holding it. Might be able to turn on the lights. Mm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? Oh, get a pick. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, we'll start from the first. Oh, we have more. We have Easter. Okay. Uh, we have. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry if that's your favorite holiday. It sounds familiar. As long as this, uh, as well as this one, I'm sorry if that's your favorite holiday as well. Um, I guess we'll start with these. Let's go with this one. I'll get right to it. Ah, uh, this must have been the feast of the crescent moon. Oh. They couldn't have celebrated every crescent moon, could they? By the forge, that'd be a lot of feasts. Okay, so we're just kind of. Uh, Let me know if you find any more of those ornaments. Just, like, project. Wonder what other holidays the old yeah, ones celebrate. Yeah. Project whatever you want mm -hmm. through this little device. Yeah, you just set it. Hey, Loy. There. This old wordsmith is always happy to see you. So, did you want to change the lights? Yes, oh, so sir. We get a pick. I wonder if he'll stay like that forever. Okay, uh, that. Let's see this one. You got it. Moon. Beneath the cascade of golden leaves, the old wordsmith found himself reflecting inwards. Meditation. I think he's my least favorite out of the trio. Oh, oh, Calm like really? spirit. I don't think he's kind of annoying. No, I don't like Abaddon. Yeah. Bonfire, you know? Stemmer's okay. Lucky you. Okay. He is cryptic and annoying, but he's got a charm to him. Yeah. Journeys unknown. The Nora returned to the teller of tales and keeper of ornaments. So, did you want to make some changes yes, around sir. here? Uh, probably go with St. Patrick's Day next. Sure. I want to see this one. Don't care much for St. So Patrick's the Day. So the set out to bring new light to the rooms the above. <laughs> All you uh, American Irishmen with. Irish descendants. Mm. Why by the forge legit. would the old ones celebrate some here, kind right? of green leaf? No. It's for no. luck, I think. Chinese New Year. No. This one seems good. I hope Abaddon is ready for this. 
What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Why this one specifically? Showers, and oh. sparks, and serpents. Whatever they were celebrating, it must have been quite a festival. All right. This was my favorite one so far. Yeah, this one's cool. Probably Easter next. Sure. Let's put this one up. By our heroine's word, the lights would dazzle the sky. They probably don't change anything underground, right? No way. It is kind of in this one area. Well, what do rabbits, eggs, and flowers have to do with each other? <laughs> Signs of spring, maybe. You're right. Seems okay. Yeah, that's cute. All right, and then Christmas is the last one. Mm -hmm. Let's see this one. You got it. Trees, Santa. Candy canes was the thing. Yeah. Sure as sparks kindle Ooh. flame. This Aww, must cute. have been some kind of winter festival. What kind of beast is that? Over here. Almost looks like a <laughs> Yeah, there you are. Doesn't anyone out here okay. I think we'll, we'll go with Chinese New Year. Yeah? Yeah. From like the Christmas unknown, one, but it's not like Christmas time right now. To the teller of tales and keeper of ornaments. Yeah, it's not really near any of these holidays. No. <laughs> I hope Abaddon is ready for this. Okay. He says that before the Chinese New Year one every time. As the wordsmith yes. gazed upon the twirling serpents, he was reminded of the night of Sir Nora fulfilled oh, Moreland's desert dream. Uh, it's in Moreland's dessert dream. Now, what is this? I guess is this is we get this whenever we get all of them. Yeah, I guess so. Looks like Moreland's got something to say down here. Yeah. Real, true Moreland? Are you the real Moreland? Or are you the fake Moreland? He's a fake. Ah! <laughs> die, Moreland! <laughs> game, please. Abaddon, do you see this shit? Please, game, you need to fix it, please. Moreland! More, more! Oh, he's got his thing. Oh, yeah, he did it already. He has something to say over here. It's weird how they both have something to say, so they're both technically Moreland, you just can't talk to him. Yeah, he's just not supposed to be there. Oh, see the world from spectacular heights. Yeah, woo. Yeah. Go talk to Moreland. Oh, he's doing a speech. I see you have a new orb ready to go. It looks, uh, assembled. Yes, yes, as promised. <laughs> it's a veteran of numerous test flights by yours truly. All successes, no interruptions in the air. No issues at all? How did you do it? A complete top to bottom reimagining of the orb with an eye toward the ultimate in comfort and reliable air travel. And a stronger tether, two this time. In case one breaks. Smart. And safe. Peace of mind is included with every ascent and descent. I guarantee. What do you say? Word got around about our last adventure. Having you go up with me again would, you know, encourage the more skittish in the crowd. Let's go day right or let's go night right. Just up and down. Okay, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, as this fine, upstanding Nora and I take flight before your very eyes, let us ascend. Oh. Aloy, I swear you are my lucky charm. Oh, I still see the Chinese New Year one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've made a number of modifications to the orb. Reinforced joists, ooh, double stitch fabric, Custom plating. Oh, and cushions. Now we're going up. Okay. I wonder if you can just do this whenever you want now. Yeah, Bring here is Aloy. Itself. The world beneath us. It's so grand. The ancient city from up here. It's so vast. Imagine all the people who came here in its heyday. Oh. You know, it occurs to me I should have written a manual for flying this contraption. Uh, like you know, we should have uniforms for flying. Something eye-catching, but tasteful. I like this. Yeah. Hmm. It would be good for long air 
airborne excursions, food and beverage <laughs> service, and chairs. Moreland you would not believe the, the amount of work songs the Osram have about Steam. Osram or Orblines. Orbsram. I wonder if... No. No, there has to be a weight limit. Besides, how would you get the machine to stay still? Yeah. Wow. You could really lose something if you dropped it from up here. I wonder how many voice dialogue lines he has. Thirsty. So, how many kegs could this orb hold? Say about six. Six? This war no revolutionized parcel delivery. Faster communications with overnight shipments. No animals, though. Oh, I could turn this into an airborne hoteling. Oh, uh, wait, no. What about the plumbing issue? Go off the site. Also, it's not that big. Huh. Years of Osram medical theory were wrong. I made it into the air, and my lungs didn't collapse. <laughs> what? Did there was like no air up there. Oh, I wish my granddad could have seen this. Yes. I think we made it to the top. Yeah. Can you still talk? This version of the orb is so much better than the prototype. Not even a whiff of burnt hair. <laughs> What's your favorite Vegas book? I don't know if the Tanakhs would be interested in an orb or just want to blow it up. We should steer clear of them. You know who would love this? The Karja? Huh? They could get so much closer to the sun this way. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's nighttime. Hey, have you ever been to the frozen wilds? Yes. I have. The music is building up. I had a bird once. At one point in the design, the orb was more of a cube. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking either. Oh, you know what would be a real spectacle? Orb races, yeah, around pylons of fire. Uh, I don't know about that. All things considered, I'm a lucky man. Oh, yeah. I'm doing what <laughs> I love. Not everyone gets to do that. Get more embers. Night Sky is gonna be the best show in the world. They're called ornaments, Moreland. I've been talking since we launched. Done now. Promise. Just let me know when you'd like me to take over. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it. <laughs> really done? Anything else, Moreland? Anything you wanna get off your chest? Just Any take secret? it as it is. Okay. Crashing down. Ah, okay. Aloy! I can see by the look in your eye that you are ready to enjoy the orb once again. Ready to go? Mm, no. Maybe later. I think he's just gonna always yeah, have we'll plenty of other now. customers I think so too. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I was hoping we would fly again. But... We just got off. Hey, you're... you're always welcome back, Aloy. Anytime. Yeah, so he's just kind of there now. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I think that's uh, the Hidden Ember mm -hmm. supplement done. I think so. Um, I think we'll probably get that chest up there unlocked, uh, that one, uh, once we uh, return all the embers probably. or the ornaments, as they're called. Yeah, since I haven't rewarded you at all. Yeah. Reward us with nice visuals. Uh, I think I'm going to return to the Grove and give that lady the black box. Okay. Trade in recordings. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've brought you more of the voices you're collecting. Another chance to learn about this lost war. I think we've bought one. Yeah, I think so. so. Buy this one. Yeah, thank you. More voices saved. Thank you. I hope. Shut down engines, woman. Do you gonna pass me that bottle? You really think these soldiers can? Well, this was always going to be a one-way trip, so I guess they're going to have to. To enduring victory? Uh, to zero dawn, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> oh, come on. Any chance it's an ice 
machine. This drink's warm. During the time. That's a salute every Tanax should make. <laughs> oh, what do you got? Uh, this bit. Moments later, that the guy. entire grove was filled with yeah. lights. Like the days of the first Tanax. Even more. The truth of the visions was revealed to us. Then, we oh, gathered here yes. and listened to Faraday's words. And this was the same message Chief Hikaro saw. Oh, yeah. Unity against our common struggles. Peace instead of war. I wish I could have seen it. Aloy, I was just telling Cavo how you revealed the visions after Regala's attack on the cool route. I've always wondered what Chief Hikaro saw and heard the day he conquered the Grove. Now we know. I'm sorry you don't get to see it too. It's okay. I know a chaplain who was there. The deeds of the Ten have always inspired us in battle. Now they will bold. guide us towards <laughs> peace as well. Being bold. All thanks to you, Aloy. Oh no. I think he wasn't. And she's like, I'm gonna leave now. Well, we're gonna end this one here then. Um, finished up everything we wanted to do after Poseidon, all like the catch up stuff. Um, next time we're going to be heading into uh, the uh, Stand of the Sentinels here. Uh, we do have a fifth skill point for this here. So we'll do that. Uh, oh, hey. Hey, this is the whole skill tree done. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing those extra five are the DLC skills down there. Mm -hmm. um, but we are 61.37%. Cool. So, yeah. Next yeah, time we'll be working on getting to Demeter. Well, it'll probably be a few episodes until we actually get there. Absolutely. So, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.